The key to emergency barriers is ease and speed of deployment in real world situations. That's why today we're going to be attempting to stop the Taz River in Norfolk using Aqualeve, a new temporary emergency barrier which has been used successfully for flood control in the United States. Today we've loaded 40 metres of aqua levee onto the trailer. You can get perhaps up to 80 units or 160 metres comfortably on our 12 foot trailer. We're going to demonstrate here with just two people putting up the units. The bottom valve will be opened to allow some water to come in once it's been opened out. And as you begin to fill the unit, the bottom valve is closed. The second unit is positioned four to six inches away from the first one. The seal is formed by the water-filled vinyl bags. Filling material for aqua leve water is obviously abundantly available in most flood situations. It can of course come off a mains hydrant. Working in this fashion, Finley and Bruce have already erected the equivalent of 360 sandbags and they're heading on now for the next 120. The units are approximately 1.9 metres in length. You see that the water is beginning to be diverted around the edges of the units and it's beginning to build up. Here we can see how the pond is beginning to build up. Aqualeve is successfully holding back and if you look up along the river you can see how it's drying up. Very little water is coming through now. You can see now the dry riverbed uh, Aqualever has successfully stopped the Taz and backed it up and we're going to open up a unit now and let the water through. By releasing the bottom valve the unit gradually clears of water. One of the great strengths of the Aqualeve unit though is the ability to deploy it in faster moving water than any other product. We're now going to plug the gap. In the unlikely event of a failure, you simply remove the faulty unit and replace it with a, an operative one. Already the gap's been plugged and the water flow has been significantly abated. The refilled bag has expanded to form a seal next to the other units and exerted downward pressure on the ground sheet to seal water coming underneath. And we're already again in a situation where you could continue working on the riverbed or the danger of flooding to a property or a community is being significantly reduced.
and very quickly you're able to pack away for redeployment, flat pack the Aquileather units, handled by one person there. And there it is. What moments ago was a dry riverbed is once again back in its normal flow. This waterway that we are viewing here that appears to be a river is actually runoff from the actual river that we're going to try and reroute back to its original course. What we're now looking at is the actual river. As you can see now to the right to its course, this is intended travel. And the river, through all the volume, has rerouted itself to the left. So what Alka Levy is going to attempt to do is to create a vertical line straight across and hopefully reroute the river back. A Knoxville company set them up around Graysville to divert water away from homes like Donnie Richardson's. Richardson says the levees aren't enough to save his property, but city leaders say the levees have worked wonders on the streets. It only took a few hours for this intersection to go from looking like this to looking like this. I was optimistic. I was open for anything, and to look at it, no, it doesn't look like it's going to work. But I'm going to tell you, uh, we have open streets today where we didn't have yesterday morning. The people here was hurting. If they hadn't got this, they would have, you know, still been in the bad. Water is above everything. I was expecting some water, but not this much. A moat wasn't in East Ridge Hospital's design, but it's certainly part of Mother Nature's plan. There's a plan to get rid of all of this water here. It involves these orange barriers. They're actually building a dam, and then they're going to suck the water out to make sure people can drive their cars through. And this is the man who's doing all of it. Sir, when do you hope to have this water removed? Well, with what we're doing right now, we'll have this entrance open by, uh, by dusk. One problem almost solved, many more to go. You are looking live at the work that's begun here to take this water out, to pump this water out. They are making some very good headway. In fact, they've moved their time up from dusk. They say this water will be gone within the next half hour, just the first of many problems here in East Ridge. We are live at the East Ridge Hospital. Mike Del Strido, News Channel 9. Uh, Mike, I've never seen that. Yeah. Uh,